Hello Internet, welcome to Antina Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be designing a Yagi Uda Antina. This is one of the most basic type of Antina array and is designed from the most basic Antina that is the Lambda by 2 Antina or the dipole. Now, Yagyuda antenna is an example of an antenna array with a lot of parasitic elements. Now you must have seen this antenna from previous decades. It used to be one of the most popular antennas around and this antenna had the shape of one active element and then it had a boom stick right in the middle this active element had a reflector at the back and it had numerous directors in the front Now, the basic concept of this antenna was to make a more directional antenna as opposed to the lambda by 2 dipole which is an omnidirectional antenna. The designing of this antenna used to be a manual work earlier because we needed to calculate the length of the lambda by 2 folded dipole and then each of these elements which are parasitic in nature that means that they are only going to manipulate the radiation of lambda by 2 active element antenna for example the work of reflector which is right behind the main element is to block the energy or radiation going in the backwards direction and these directors they they are used to direct the energy in a pencil beam manner the, the more we have the number of directors the more uh, directional the beam would be the first null beam width and the half power beam width will decrease as we increase the number of uh, director elements it is pretty obvious that the reflector is a little bigger than lambda by 2 antenna and all the directors they are smaller than the main lambda by 2 antenna I assume that you know how to calculate lambda by 2 from the frequency given for example if you have 85 megahertz frequency you can calculate lambda as c by f and once you calculate lambda you can calculate lambda by 2 and that should be the length of your dipole or the folded dipole now each of these elements which are attached to the boom stick with reflector and directors their lengths are progressively increasing by 5% for example the reflector length will be lambda by 2 plus 5% added on top of 
lambda by 2 and similarly the first director will have a length lambda by 2 minus 5% of lambda by 2 and consequently if you go on to calculate second director's length it should be first director minus 5% less than the first director so that is how you can calculate the length of all the elements the interspacing distance the distance between dipole and reflector should be 0.2 lambda and the distance between dipole and director should be 0.125 lambda so on and so forth even uh, in many books you'll find these values to be differing by very small amount negligible amounts but more or less uh, these are the values that we need to follow to to design or construct a Yagyu antenna and similarly the boomstick should have a maximum length which is specified by another formula and uh, once you calculate all these lengths which are directly calculatable from the frequency you can easily design the Yagyu antenna however today uh, we do not use manual work for the calculation of the lengths we have Yagyu the calculators which are um, Windows or Linux based applications that does all the work in the next tutorial I'm gonna focus on one of the Yagyu the calculators that I use which is super easy to use and it does a lot many functions that than any other manual person can do so uh, thank you so much for watching this video make sure you watch the next part of this video where I demonstrate the software and have a good day good life bye